Hi, everyone. I'm Steve. I'm here with Robert Hamilton. Thanks for being here, Robert. Thank you, Steve. I love your story, man. <laughs> I, I just, um, and I tell people, uh, and well, I told you before we got on, you inspire people. Because when people see you in the gym and how you've totally turned your life around, it takes away their excuses, you know? <laughs> and so, uh, and I, I just, I appreciate you getting on here and telling your story because um, it makes a difference. And you're impacting lives that you don't even know you're impacting because people see you and they watch you. And you've been in the gym for how long now? Uh, I want to say since March. Since March, so not that yeah. long. No. But you've made some incredible strides, and, and people are watching you, and they're going to watch <laughs> you for years. And it's really cool because they don't say anything, but you're inspiring them. So t tell everybody your story. You know, and, and you're, you, you haven't been shy with me. Just yeah. how did – you you talked about being homeless for yeah. a long time. So go back to the beginning and, and, and sure. tell us that part of the story. So I got injured at work. Uh, I had shoulder surgery. Um, and during that time, uh, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of money with the workers comp. I lost everything. My apartment, my friend, my girlfriend, everything. It was like a country song. So uh, I wound up being homeless and it continued. My health progressively got worse and uh, it just, it was a long road it was to about 12 years. And uh, my, I, my health got so bad that doctors told me, I, I, they said, I just want to be honest with you. I don't see you being around in a couple of years. You know, the way things are going, you don't got long, my heart, I had congestive heart failure, legs were swollen, I couldn't walk. Uh, it was bad. And, uh, wow. Um, so. Moving here, moving yeah. here was the best thing, you know, that ever could have happened. Uh, between here and the community pool, uh, I've lost 60 pounds. Uh, I went from 500 pounds down, you know, down in the 400s now and uh, doing good. Uh, Dude, I love coming here. When all these, when everything <laughs> started to go sideways all at once, right? Yeah. And did you change your diet? I, it happened so fast. It, it, there was nothing like it just, it just progresses like a domino effect, you know? And uh Yeah. It was hard when you're homeless. It's hard to eat fresh, you know, food and whole food. Prepare. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So tell me about the first day in the gym, how you felt, what, how you thought you were going to be received. And uh, so, because we, I want to encourage people not to be afraid of the gym. I don't care if you live in New York. I don't care if you live in Alaska. It the was gym, hard. It's family. But do you feel like this is family for you? Yeah. Now it's great. I have people come up to me, say, don't stop, you know, keep going. And, mm. you know, these people are in tip top shape. You know, they're shaking my hand. They said, I saw you working out. I just want to say, you know, keep going. And uh, you'll get there, you know, you know, just keep going. Never give up. And, yeah. Uh, Isn't that cool? Yeah. 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 You know, and, and everybody else wants to say that to you. They just don't have the courage. So the ones that are saying it is awesome, but everyone's thinking it. Yeah. And everyone's so, greater. Yeah. Everyone's and helpful. family. And Hey, if you guys know someone who has a disability or is overweight or whatever, pass this interview with Robert on. And let him be an, um, an example, an inspiration to your friends, your loved ones, or whoever needs to be encouraged and make a positive change in their life. So 
How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better? I mean, are you breathing oh, better? Yeah. Everything's great. I mean, I can walk. I can go for walks with my family. Uh, I go to the gym, you know, like here. I go to the aquatic center. Um, there's classes you can take. There's the ladies at the therapy pool. They're out there doing squats. So, you know, we're doing like 500 squats a day. And it's just great. And it's, it's easier on your knees, you know, and you, everything with that pool. And it's heated, so that helps. Because when I got here, it was hard. I, was, I had a cane. I didn't want to come in. I was like, oh, man, here I'm going to the gym. You know, I was afraid. And I got in here, and I started working out. And my body just naturally, that muscle memory, I started uh, bench pressing. And I worked my way up. Within a month, I was doing 240 pounds on the bench there. Wow. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and did, did people right away start encouraging you? Yeah. 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 I had some I love that. showing me everything. And yeah. I love yeah, that. She's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're feeling better now. You've got oh, yeah. some goals set. And now you're able to eat more whole foods and eat healthier and yeah, you're going in the right direction. Yeah. Everything's going down. My, my doctors, they have everything they said, look, it shows my weight was going like that, you know, and now it's every time now it's just going down, down, down. My levels are better. My sugars are better. Everything's better. Yeah. And you're putting muscle, muscle weight on too. Exactly. So, let me ask you this, Robert. What would you say to people out there where <laughs> hopefully there's like very I, few, I, maybe nobody out there that where everything just went wrong like it did for you all at once. But what would you say to those people to encourage them to do what you're doing? Yeah, when you find yourself down and you want to give up, don't give up. I mean, it's, it's never... It, as bad as it seems, that's the worst it's going to get when you're all the way down. You got no, that's the best, you know, view of heaven. <laughs> it's only, you can only reach up and keep going. Yeah. That's yeah. a good, that's such a positive uh, perspective. It's like, hey, tomorrow has to be better than today, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's great. Uh, well, Robert, we appreciate you telling your story. We have a gift for you. We're oh, going okay. to give you a one-year VIP plus membership to Fitness for 10. Oh, wow. And if you can ever get there, we're going to give you a one-year membership to Parkway Athletic Club. Now, Parkway Athletic Club is in South Reno, and okay. they have a pool there. They have all wow. the bells and whistles, steam rooms, saunas, <laughs> all the classes, um, and with the VIP plus, you can bring a friend with you to fitness for 10. You can also do all the classes, everything oh. at fitness for 10 there, ha all the classes that they offer. You can do any of them. Now you can do nice. body pump classes or whatever. <laughs> so, um, as you go out, um, Robert's at our fitness for 10 studio in Carson city, Nevada, but as you go out, Sam has, um, those gifts for you. So awesome. Um, awesome. Thank pick you him very up. much. And uh, hey, <laughs> keep inspiring. You know, um, it, we just we need more people like you to inspire others and, you know, not be a victim. It's easy to be a victim. Everyone can figure out why they're a victim. But don't do that. Figure out why you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't don't be afraid. That's the, right. that's the worst thing. You know, don't don't psych yourself out. Right. Yeah. And <clears throat> I can't express enough that the support that people give you at the gym. Exactly. And exactly. you're walking proof of that and you're a testimony of that and a witness of that right away. And, and as time goes on more, people are going to say it more. You're going to get more <laughs> encouragement and they're admiring 
what you're doing and the choices that you're making. And it's not easy. It doesn't mean it's every day is going to be perfect, but, no. <laughs> but it's invigorating getting in the gym, isn't it? It's invigorating it and feels so it good. I was just there. I was, I was pumping. <laughs> and then when, when you leave and you feel you worked your muscles, it feels good. Yeah. So uh, Robert, I really appreciate uh, you telling us your story and Hey, everyone pass this on to people who need to hear this. So thank you so much for being with us, Robert, and I hope to see you in the gym soon. Thank you, Steve.